is a microfluidic chip. It can do the work of dozens of laboratory technicians, saving time and money. Frederick Balagardi invented it, and he's got big plans to develop it further at this new $40 million centre for HIV and tuberculosis research in Durban. We believe that um, having this technology here and developing it over here, I think will tap into the local resources and allow uh, the technology to develop in a way that uh, is best um, suited um, for the prevailing conditions on the ground. They're still putting the finishing touches on the building. Four floors will be dedicated to laboratory space where the ultimate goal is a vaccine for HIV and TB. Having this facility in South Africa puts cutting edge research and scientists at the very top of their field, right in the heart of where the need is greatest. South Africa has one of the highest rates of HIV in the world and because TB flourishes in people with deficient immune systems, it's the leading cause of death in HIV patients. Given the need, Dr. Salim Abdul Karim wishes the South African government would invest more in fighting both diseases. He says 90% of the new facility has been paid for by funds raised in the United States. We would like to see a greater commitment, a greater leadership, and we'd like to see the kind of support that encourages us to undertake research. For Yuvistra Naidu, the cause is personal. He fought TB for three years and was so sick, doctors told his parents to start planning his funeral. Okay, okay, okay. He's helping researchers at the new centre develop a way to diagnose TB in babies. Uh, every day, just I'm glad to be alive, so there's a smile every day I wake up. But I think the fact that I can make a difference and give back in something that was so dear to me uh, from a personal level, it, means that much more, so it's just my drive is a lot stronger. Naidu hopes his small yeah, contribution to the new venture will mean a healthier future for all South Africans. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Durban, South Africa.